there's the tempo track. So what we've got now is some multiple options with the tap tempo. I like to do this from the transport bar, which you can see here. And there's the tap tempo. I've got it set to a rather <laughs> extreme key command, Control alt shift e but what I can actually do is hold down Control alt shift and use the E to do my tap tempo. So there's a few options, and the new one is display only, which is the one. So if I do the tap thing here, if I hold down my Control alt shift and hit the E, you can see it's lighting up as I hit E. You can see the tempo is changing on the transport bar itself, and when I stop, we now have the message down here, the tap tempo was 68.75. And the other options, we can also insert this tempo into the track. So let's just use one of these as an example. Insert tempo event at cursor position. So I'm going to put the cursor there. So let's just speed it up a little bit. One, two, three, four. And you can see I got 90 BPM and the tempo was inserted into the correct place. So you can see there's a whole load of new options available. Automatic kind of tries to figure out what you want to do. Insert tempo event at selection start. Let's say we selected that one, then the start of the selection is there, so the tempo would go there. Last playback start. So if we started from here, where we are now, it would insert the tempo where we just started from. And of course, the one that we just did, the cursor position, we can set the entire project tempo, or we can display only. And I must remember to put it back to that, because that's the one I use mostly. 